feel the love out there. Oh, my God. Uh, please, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, God, they love you. We love you. Thanks I love for, you. Thanks for coming back to the show. Yeah. I didn't know, even know if you are going to come back after the last time. Yes. We did hot ones on the show. That's right. I was and, very upset with you. Yeah, you were really... <laughs> I was so The last mad. time I saw you, you were like, I think you were vomiting in your dressing yes. room. Yes. You came in like, you good? I'm like, no, get out of my room. <laughs> it was so funny. Uh, I, I told you backstage, but I really mean this. I watched you during uh, COVID. Uh, you did Selena plus Chef. And man, if you can't, if you don't love Selena Gomez in the first, like, if you can't love her anymore, watch this show. You were so charming <laughs> and cool and fun. I just loved it. And Basically, I was an idiot. That's no, I mean, I mean, you were so fun. And I loved it. And I go, oh, that's really, that's you just being fun and cool. I just I just absolutely loved it. I just want to say that. And then I don't think I've talked to you since Only Murders in the Building. Right. It's my favorite. <laughs> it's the best show. Yeah. It's the best show. I have so much fun working working with Stephen Marty's. It's honestly a dream. They're incredible. Did you meet them before you did the show? No. You I, know, you I just, didn't. You just got cast in it. Yeah. It was, no, I actually met with them before I got the part. Yeah. yeah. And are, are they rubbing off on you? Uh, completely. I've become snarky and <laughs> A little grumpy. Yeah. Um, no, uh, they're just the best. They are the two of the funniest human beings uh, uh, on earth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And are you shooting season three? Yeah, we start in January. You do. Yeah. All right, good. Uh, I know um, you were telling me backstage, you're like, oh yeah, you do this thing, and you go sometimes I go, they just joke all the time. Yes. Yeah. And sometimes you go, yeah, I'm gonna roll my eyes. Oh, completely. Are yeah. you kidding me? I'm trained to roll my eyes at both of them. Yeah. They're so funny, and they just. I'll tell the same jokes every now and then. It's kind of like, <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah, but they're, they're, yeah. And, and then you were just at something, and Marty Short gave or had a joke about Meryl Streep, and yes, and you got to came, meet Meryl yeah, Streep. Yeah, she came over to the table. So, did, and you freaked out. Oh my gosh, I looked like I was gonna cry. <laughs> yeah, because it's Meryl Streep. It's Meryl Streep. Yeah, she has that effect on people. Yeah, you think? Yeah, she does. <laughs> But what, and you never met before? No, she grabbed my hand and she kissed my hand. I was like, oh my god. We have a, a picture. I wanted to show this. this oh is god. Your, she grabbed your hand here, and I go, that's cool. I, saw this. <laughs> I had to show this, and then here's yeah, look at this. Come on. How, I'm so happy. I know you're so happy. I'm so happy. How great is that? It was such a surreal moment, honestly. Wow. You could only dream of, you know, meeting her or working with her, you know. Yeah, exactly. She's um, uh, she's a star. Uh, speaking of stars, oh, look God. at this. Come on, look at this. Congrats. The cover of Rolling Stone, come on. Thank Does, you. Uh, it's a great article, by the way, in here. And uh, what, I, what I liked about it is also your sense of humor mm -hmm. comes through in this article. But I know, I know you named your kidney. Yes. You, you, you named it after yes. someone we know. Right. So I got a kidney transplant a couple of years ago, and as a way of coping, I thought I would name it. Now, it's weird, I know, but I did, and I named it after Fred Armisen. Yeah, so Fred Armisen is the name, and any, why? Because I love Portlandia, and I love everything he does. <laughs> and so when I'm... So I'm like, hey, watch Fred, guys, you know? <laughs> Fred Ar does, and does Fred Armisen know that he has... Yeah, he sent me flowers. I was so excited. Is that right? Did he really? <laughs> He's, he's actually super fun. Yeah, I heard yeah. he's awesome. You should hang out with him. Um, can we talk about uh, My Mind and Me? Um, <laughs> the single is out now, uh, and fans love it, and fans are all going on the socials. Hey, does this mean there's going to be more music? Mm -hmm. And there That's is, accurate. There is going to be more. Finally! <laughs> I love that! I'm just, I'm so used to writing sad girl songs because I'm good at that, but... You are. I'm ready to have some fun, and I think people are going to have it. Oh, I can't wait. All right, good. So you're in the studio now and working? Yes, I'm actually doing it here, which is awesome. Oh, really? It's all happening. Yeah, I know. We're all part of it. Um, <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I love the documentary. Thank you. Uh, and man, oh man, uh, I, I love that you did it. I love how, that you just kind of let it all out there. And uh, when did you start filming that? About six years ago, seven years ago. Seven years yeah. ago? Yeah. And we kind of went through all the different phases of my life from, you know, getting diagnosed and doing all the things that I had to go through. Um, Ooh, but... it's, 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 it's rough. Yeah, it is. I'm not going to lie. I can't watch it. And to be honest, I, I was scared to release it. But I knew that... I knew that being honest and completely transparent was what I want to be known for. I don't want to be an unattainable thing. I want people to know that it's not just you and that they're not alone. Yeah, that's exactly what I took from it. It's absolutely. <laughs>
You do a lot for, for, for mental health, and I know uh, you actually visited the White House. Right. And met with the uh, president and the first lady. And yes, and we discussed mental health. Now, I mean, that was just a converse, conversation. I hope that there's more that's going to be happening. Yep. But it was really incredible to be there with a bunch of young people discussing mental health and the crisis that we're in. Uh, the, not only the documentary shows you uh, performing and, and writing songs and recording, but it's like the touring and all the, also all the charity work you do. Uh, it's just a lot for one human. Yeah. And that's what I, I mean, it's a lot what you do. I know, I don't, Great things. I don't know, yeah, I don't know how I do it sometimes. I'm really tired. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's amazing that it's... you do and you give and then when you, when, you, when you do travel to Africa and you go, hey, I feel great mm -hmm. when I do these things. Yeah. And that's another good message I think people could take from this too. Like, when you do give and do something for charity, you, go, you feel good. Completely. Yeah. I, I, feel, I feel like I have a purpose. And in some ways I feel selfish because I want to do more. But I, I do know that I won't stop this fight till the day I die. I think mental health is incredibly important and should be focused on it. Um, my, my favorite part, uh, also, by the way, I'm in it. My voice is in, in the I know. Song, so. <laughs> That's not my favorite part. My favorite part is, uh, uh, is when you go to your hometown where you grew up and yeah. you go to your house where you were raised. Yes. And you have the home videos and you're still so cute. All thanks. But you go to your home, you're like, oh, I remember this and that. Oh, yeah. And it's changed. Oh, yeah. But then you go, hey, I think I wrote on the back of this, is it a door or a yes, wall? Yes, I did. It was a mirror. It's a mirror, and he actually still has it. Yes, he does. And you wrote, Cole Sprouse. <laughs> with, with heart. Did you, was that your, did you have a crush on Cole yes, Sprouse? Yes, I did. <laughs> I love that and he had And my first that. kiss was his brother. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, Dylan? On TV. Oh. On TV. Oh, wait, wait, so you kissed the wrong Sprouse? You... They wrote it in the script that way. Oh, okay. Well, it was, I was part it was of the... on the show, yes. Oh, it's Sweet Life, Zach yes. and Cody. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you went on there. But why didn't you do the scene with Cole? Were you bummed secretly? Oh, I can't say that. That wasn't what it was. No. I think I felt much better that it wasn't him, because I think I would have probably he's, been he was, an idiot. And he was the love of your life. He was the love <laughs> of my life. He was the crush. He was. Uh, I want to read some uh, reviews for, uh, on the documentary, by uh, the way, if you, uh, you want to plug your ears. Yeah, um, just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Sincere and soul-bearing, New York Times, Selena Gomez, uh, My Mind and Me explains uh, much about the star, the culture, and the movement, Wall Street Journal. Uh, Rolling Stone said profound and powerful, and it's 97% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. It's a hit, bud. It's cool that you did it. It's really good that you did it. For everyone out there to check it out, please take a look. Here's Selena's new documentary, Selena Gomez, My Mind and Me. Check this out. When I first got out, I didn't know how I'd cope with my diagnosis. What if it happened again? What if the next time I didn't come back? I needed to keep learning about it. I needed to take it day by day. When I was a kid, I was terrified of thunderstorms. I grew up in Texas, and I was so scared that lightning and thunder would mean a tornado was coming. But my mom gave me these books for kids that explained storms and lightning and thunder and basically said, the more you learn about it, the less you're going to be afraid of it. And it really helped. Selena Gomez, everyone. <laughs> Selena Gomez, My Mind and Me is streaming now on Apple TV+. Plus. Sebastian Maniscalco joins us next. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.